Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. A variety of categories, mostly lifestyle subscriptions, but I also do books, beauty, jewelry, travel, and home decor. So there's a little something for everyone. I post every single day and currently I am posting twice a day on days that start with T, so on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So hopefully you will join me for some of those videos. I'm also planning some fun things for the holiday season, so you definitely want to be subscribed and stay up to date over on the community tab or in our little Facebook group, which is called the No Bot Nook. I will leave a link for that in the description box below. It is a private group and you do have to answer a couple easy questions to uh, be admitted to that group, but I would love to see you in there. We talk about subscription boxes, all kinds of discounts and deals, and just what's going on in our daily lives as well. It's a place to hang out and get a little bit of cheer. Today, the box that I have to share with you that's been sent to me for review comes all the way from Dingle, Ireland. It is my Ireland box. This box is $49.95. The shipping to the U.S. is $15.50. I do have a code for you. It's just Maui, M-A-U-I, because that is the island that I am from. Uh, and that will save you $5, but always check out their website because often there's all kinds of deals. If you're able to do a longer subscription or if you want to get a free extra item, sometimes there's something that she's got cooked up. So definitely check out the website if you are looking to get a little something from the Emerald Isle. This is really nice for those of you who I know who had the opportunity to visit Ireland or if you have heritage in Ireland. Um, I know a lot of people really enjoy it because Catherine, the curator of this box, works really hard to get items by artists that are made in Ireland and really uh, showcase the culture. She also puts a lot of effort into the little booklets that she does every month where she tells us what's going on, what's being celebrated that month in Ireland and tells us all kinds of traditions as well as a recipe card. So there are a couple of paper elements elements every month, the recipe card and the booklet. So uh, sometimes I feel like people forget that those actually count as items that do definitely take some, some doing, but you have to appreciate those kind of items as well. So let's go ahead and get into our box. So as usual, it has our very bright green tissue paper. It looks like mine made it in a pretty good condition this time around, but I usually have to kind of tip everything up on its side so that I can get in there and find our booklet so that I can share it with you. You guys, this is my favorite box every year from my Ireland box is the sheep themed box. And I have to tell you, I adore sheep. I just think they add to the whole pastoral countryside. It just adds to the view. So here is a lovely image of our little woolly friends, of course. And you can see this is a pretty hefty booklet that Catherine puts together in nice full colors. So she tells us all about what's going on, complete with pictures. Often she'll take us along for a nice walk. You can see again, beautiful images on every page. This time around, it is several pages. Uh, we have a section on ancient Irish traditions during the month of September and it looks like a song or a poem is printed in here. Uh, let's see what else. We have a whole section on a little, there's a YouTube clip where she's actually written out the entire URL for you. Um, maybe in the future they'll have like a QR code for that, that, like let's go on a walk together. So she has images from the walk that she took. So again, you do have to really kind of appreciate this element of it, this little like story time with Catherine every month um, because sometimes we'll have a box that is packed with goodies, like, you know, five to eight goodies. And sometimes depending on the cost of the products, if they worked with an artist, uh, sometimes you might only get like two or three items, but you do always get this booklet and you do always get the recipe cards. So then I finally found my section, which is let's meet the makers. And that's what I will read to you about. So it looks like this time around, there are four more tangible products. I guess the paper products are also tangible, but in addition to our recipe card and our booklet, we got four other items. So I will prop this up in front of me and I do quite a bit of reading for these unboxings. You'll just have to bear with me. But like I said, it is my favorite. I love all the sheep themed things that we get. Let me see if I can find our recipe card before we dive into the rest of it. So here is our recipe card. It is Granny's Dingle Pie from County Kerry, Ireland, a traditional pie made within the pubs of Dingle for the fishermen when they came home from the sea. We all have enjoyed this dish growing up. Traditionally, mutton was used and still can be, but Granny uses lamb. Make life easier for yourself if you wish by buying a good quality stock rather than making it as per the recipe below. And you can so name the paste, do the same with the pastry, of course. So it said so. I was like, what? Um, so here's the, uh, kind of a faint 
like almost watermarked version of it so just like it looks like a good lamb pie um, kind of a stew with a crust and then here are the uh, directions so this is a little more involved sometimes it's kind of like an easier baked good and those are the ones that I feel like I'm more inclined to give a try sometimes she's sent us like bread or scone mixes like that's like one of my favorite things because those I can usually usually manage even with the uh, conversions with the weights etc so that is our uh, dingle pie so that definitely feels a little more fallish because it's probably starting to cool off there in Ireland a bit all right you guys this is the uh, this is probably our hero item again love the sheep boxes so if you aren't someone who likes the booklet or you don't do the recipes or maybe um, you don't like adorable sheep the way that I do this might not suit you but look how cute this little lammy is with this little embroidered shamrock. He is so precious. So it's just this little stuffed animal. Look at his little ears. Oh my gosh, this is, this is so cute. So let me go ahead and read to you about Guadalupe Creations out of Dublin. It says, I bought my first Guadalupe Creation years ago when I was visiting an Irish made shop in Dublin. It was a Christmas decoration that I now treasure and I absolutely adore it. I've always wanted to work with Guadalupe. She makes the most beautiful dolls and soft toys. I knew she would be able to create something absolutely beautiful for you and I'm so delighted with the way your Irish sheep turned out. We've been working on this for months and months and I'm so happy to introduce you to Guadalupe. Look, you guys, it is so cute. It's like, it's pretty big and it is very soft and squishy, but it does have like a nice base to it. So it looks like he will stand up on his own. This is from Guadalupe. It says, I've always loved designing and creating pieces that can be loved and appreciated over the years. Many years ago, I arrived in Ireland, leaving my hometown of Cordoba, Argentina. I studied fashion and design, and it was only after graduation that I realized I wanted to create unique pieces that I could bring to life with care, love, and attention to detail. The story of Guadalupe Creations began five years ago in my small studio in Dublin. I started by handcrafting my designs for family and friends. As these creations became more popular, I discovered that many people were interested in the collection and that I had a full-time career doing what I love. My daughter has always been the inspiration for my pieces. When she was about four, I made her first doll, but then my friends got very interested in, in them. That's when I decided to start selling them and make personalized bespoke dolls. I also started to make cushions with the applique technique, but after a while I decided to focus on the dolls only. Gradually I started to build up a following or customer base. Also I approached a few shops in Dublin city center. That's how Guadalupe Creations first started. My daughter takes me to magical realms where I create my dolls, soft toys, and bonnets. Each piece continues to be designed and half handcrafted by me with love and care. My process includes machine embroidery, applique and hand sewed details I aim to create beautiful pieces that can be treasured and enjoyed by all he's so cute and squishy so I will say that this is only my third year on YouTube but this is my fourth my Ireland sheep box because that was the first time I subscribed to my Ireland box was because the sheep box was coming up so some of you will remember because some of you have been with me that long and I truly truly appreciate those of you who have so my first one was a really cute little crocheted sheep like a amigurumi style um, I actually have that one with me because she keeps me company on my desk all the time and then Catherine via Instagram helped me name Grania. So this is Grania. She's got a little shamrock in there, so she might nibble on this one's also. But that is Grania. She is my favorite. And then I also have a sock sheep, and his name, you guys helped me out. His name is Rupert. And then last year, I believe, we got a very like modern, almost sculptural sheep, which I named uh, Millie because it is thoroughly modern. So I have Millie, Rupert, and Grania. Um, this is Grania, which is an Irish name so cute so you guys are gonna have to help me name this one i don't know if it's a boy or a girl i'm i'm i've always referred to things as boys for some reason but you will have to help me so we do have two girls we have millie and Grania, and then we have a uh, rupert and maybe this is also a boy so help me think of what his name is like bar <laughs> That's too easy, right? Uh, I would love to hear your suggestions in the comments below, of course, and I will get the whole gang together when I take some photos all over on Instagram as well. But what a fun thing to look forward to every year when they do the sheep box. Also a fun thing to look forward to in this box is the edible delights that she sends us, whether it be biscuits or bread mixes or sweets. This time it is from the West Cork Biscuit Company. Ooh, very fall. Uh, ginger spice with crystallized ginger. That sounds so perfect for uh, afternoon tea, doesn't it? Oh, so, so good. 
So this is from the West Cork Biscuit Company. I was gifted a box of these soft buttery biscuits, but, ooh, they're soft? That sounds exciting. I, I like a good soft cookie, but I just assumed that these would be crispy. It says, by the mother of one of my children's friends, and as I sat reading my book whilst enjoying them, I decided there and then to send them to you. There is no surprise that they are made in Cork, as it's a county that serves up the sweetest, most mouth-watering treats always. The West Cork crew say fine Irish ingredients are at the heart of our biscuits. Irish butter, free-range egg, from a small West Cork farm, top quality oats, and many other natural products sourced here in Ireland. And that is the secret to their delicious things, is all of the uh, key ingredients. From the first time Jane and Richard set up that stall at Clonakilty Clonald Kilty Farmers Market in 2003, the standards for their biscuits have stayed the same. Always the best ingredients, especially Irish butter, and absolutely nothing artificial, although they do make an exception for baking soda. The doughs are all made in small batches. The cookies are portioned and shaped by hand and then baked in a traditional oven. You will find, as I did, that these biscuits melt in the mouth. It is because of the unsalted Irish butter. Uh, oh, is it because of the unsalted Irish butter? I am guessing it is. It says, I'm glad to write that they never ever use artificial flavors or colors, preservatives or stabilizers, emulsifiers or hydrogenated fats in any of their cookies. So enjoy. Um, these, they, they have some heft to them too. So I feel like I'm almost getting a whole stick of butter in here and I love that I can read all of the ingredients unbleached wheat flour golden syrup unsalted Irish butter which has milk of course unrefined muscovado sugar Irish free-range eggs crystallized ginger spices uh, which is ginger cinnamon and cloves and a raising agent which is that baking soda so totally fine I'm wondering how many are, are in there it does say that they're best before April of next year they will not last that long at all but I will definitely open these up soon, but of course, I've got to take photos. And the, this is like amazing, you guys. This is one of the few times my box has come like without a whole bunch of bent corners and torn edges because it had like little lamy softening cushioning in it for a change. That's so wonderful. All right, so, oh, oh goodness. And it came, it's like a little playing card. It says uh, from Guadalupe Creations, I loved watching this Irish sheep come to life. It began as a hand-drawn sketch on paper. This is a little image of it. Then I added fabric, seams, and embroidery. And throughout the process, I delighted as it took on a life of its own. All my creations are modern, cheerful heirlooms that are meant to be kept and passed down through the generations, bringing smiles to those who see them. Knowing that this Irish sheep designed exclusively for my Ireland box is being given to you makes me feel that it is all worth it. Guadalupe. Oh, that is so Oh, sweet I love that I love that oh also sweet okay so this was a box for example you guys didn't have a lot of items total of four and I believe one of them was actually supposed to be in last month's box so really um, just really just three but we got some delicious cookies I mean this is handmade and super special because you can't get this anywhere else we got this beautiful print. It's a black and white photograph. It says Slay Had Sheep 2022. Also says Buy My Ireland Box. So I wonder if uh, Catherine took this. It came in a nice uh, sleeve, but I'm going to go ahead and take that off. It says I worked with the talented Edwin of Image and Design in Dingle to turn this beautiful image that I took recently along Slay Had Drive into a very high quality print that you could frame. So kudos to Catherine for taking this image. I, we looked into different designs and felt that this black and white option looked so classy. I I love how it turned out. You now have your very own sleigh sheep to admire. I really like how the sheep turned to look at me as I took the photograph before he ran away with his friend. It was a beautiful day and spending with Thomas and the kids on the weekend before they returned to school was one to remember. So I'm going to hold it up with the cardboard behind it. Isn't that stunning? I'm hoping that it's a pretty standard size. I don't think it's four by seven. It looks more like it's like six by eight maybe, which isn't like the super standard size, but I should be able to find a frame without having to get it custom framed. I am not opposed to custom framing things. This will look lovely on my travel wall. I do actually already have something representing Ireland. Uh, nothing makes it on my travel wall unless I have been to that country. It doesn't have to have been my purchase in that country, but um, I just think that is stunning. So beautiful. Of course, you always think of like the green rolling hills in Ireland, but I think they made the right decision with this gorgeous uh, black and white. Very nice. It has a, the print is very nice. It has like a tiny bit of a sheen to it. So I think that will look very, very nice framed. Um, and I do love that they, we've got our two little sheepies in there, right there on the, I guess right along the water. How pretty. 
Okay, so we do have one final item, but I do think it is something that was supposed to be in the last box, which did have quite a few things. So this is from Lainey K out of Dublin. It's a little greeting card, so I'll go ahead and take this out of its sleeve as well. This is a card that was due to be included in last month's My Ireland box. We have never omitted an item in the last 10 years, but alas, it was left. However, here it is now, and new subscribers can enjoy it too. Here's what I wrote last month about it for our summertime in Ireland My Ireland box. I actually don't think I got that. One. I think that the last box that I reviewed on the channel was the July box so this is kind of nice that I get to enjoy this because this is a representative of the uh, August box which of course is my birthday month so this is what that looks like it's always fun to have like a square card I think let me get that to focus so it says Elaine Kelliger's 99 ice cream card popped right out at me when I saw it and I knew I had to include it in this month's theme as I mentioned above the 99 ice cream is a huge part of the summertime in Ireland I also just love the color she used in her ethos she says it best and then this is a quote it says I am very passionate about producing designs that will give you a feel-good factor every time you see them leaving you excited to share the experience with your family or friends and dying to come back for more so it says you're the flake to my 99 I don't know what that means, right? I've, is like flake, like the flaky ice cream bits? Or is it like, oh, is it like the flake, um, is it the flake like candy bar that you stick into the ice cream? Is that like a thing that they do in Ireland? I don't know. It says, uh, the customer is at the heart of everything I create. I'm designing and making for them, thinking about the lovely feeling they will get from gifting one of my designs or having one for themselves. One of the best feelings is seeing people's reaction when they pick up one of my cards or prints, the cheeky smile it puts on their face, the belly laugh it gives them, or watching them call their friends over to take a look and share the experience. That is the real motivator and what has taken me from my first ever design to the growing range of cards and prints I have today. Through Lainey K, I'm on a mission of communicating messages of self-care and well-being, and I want to make you feel good too. Connecting with people has proven to be great for our social, emotional, and physical well-being. Sending a Laney K greeting card to someone special is a great way of connecting and improving well-being for both you and your recipient. I am inviting you to get writing, get to writing a Laney K greeting card, get sending, get connecting, and get improving the nation's overall well-being. So it then uh, goes on a little bit more. It says, I have, this is back to Catherine, it says, I have framed my card just as as I just love seeing it every morning, especially during the summertime, it also reminds me of the importance of the little things in life and also the memory of my dad bringing us for an exciting 99 ice cream late into the evening when we should have been tucked into bed. So I'm guessing, I don't know, because you know, here in the States, we like, you don't want to be a flake because that means you're someone who doesn't actually do what they say they're going to do, like you flake on people. But I'm assuming that it's the candy and you stick it into the 99 ice cream, right? Let me know in the comments below if you know. Um, so this might have to be for a very special recipient that will understand it and not be confused like I am. But it is a very cute card, um, nice and like kind of glossy. Uh, seems like you have to, you're probably gonna have to let your pen pen work dry a little bit before you actually uh, close up the card so it doesn't ink the other side. But overall, a lovely box, not a ton of contents. We got our booklet, we got our recipe card with a recipe that honestly seems a little more involved than I would, I have never, I've never cooked with a lamb to be honest. But all made up for with the card that apparently was missing from last month's box, which I didn't get anyway, so I'm very happy to receive it this time around. And then the items for the sheep box was the ginger spice crystallized ginger biscuits, which aren't really sheepy, but the two sheep items that we got I think are fantastic. This really beautiful print that Catherine had printed up and this adorable, adorable Guadalupe Creations sheep, which you're all going to help me name in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please help me out by giving it a thumbs up. Like I said, I post videos every single day, usually in the afternoon on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I've got two for you. I hope you are a subscriber. If not, please join our little community. It is so much fun and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.